Hello and welcome to today's video in which we are going to combine uh, more than one OB together. We're going to start easy here and just combining two. Um, we're going to start with an... Uh, where do we have it? With a time of day. One problem that we have with the OB is that most of them, or all of them actually, only called on demand of the operating system. Meaning that if I put in my time of day, if I put a timer in here, I take a timer here from my operations, I put it on uh, the line, I, I put it in my program right here, oh yeah, I need a database. If I do something like this, like a timer in here, it won't really work. The timer will be executed exactly once. So let's look at this, 30 seconds. <clears throat> I don't need an in because uh, the well, the uh, function here, the OB is only called exactly once. Uh, I hope I have the right setting. I think I have the right setting. Just making sure that because I'm using a time of day, if you don't know what a time of day is, well, you clicked on the video, so you should probably know. If you don't know it, check out my channel. There's a time of day interrupt a video, and this one here is set correct for my setup. And I want to execute this exactly um, uh, in like a minute or two. Uh, so I have 9, whoops, 25, 2019, so I have the time. And I want exactly in ooh, 8, let's say at 16 p.m. At exactly 8, at 16 p.m. local time, so for my PLC, um, in 2 minutes, my time here, I want a variable to be set and I want this variable to be reset 30 seconds after this. So here I want to reset it. I also need to create my variable. Hey, I will create a global thingy. Uh, set me for 30 seconds. It's a bool, boolean, so because uh, here we go. I want to set this in my time of day and I want it to be active for exactly 30 seconds, right? So what you would expect I can use a pulse timer and this pulse timer will send out a pulse that's exactly 30 seconds and then that will work. Uh, I have a compile error because uh, preceding logic boolean operation needs to be in here. So I would need to put something in front of the timer. I can just use anything. Uh, true. Right. And the start value here is true. And I want to have this. The time always needs a pre preceding a logic. So here we go. I hope, ah, no, <laughs> I was too slow. So it's already, uh, I don't know, I put it to 16. And right now the time in my PLC is actually, I still have 30 seconds. So in 30 seconds, and right, I put this here, in 30 seconds, the time of day will be called the function by the operating system. The timer will start send, because it's a pulse timer. The output here will be on, right? And because it's a pulse timer, the output should only be on for 30 seconds. The problem that we have is that the time of day is only executed once, right? And I think I have the wrong setting. I have it execution never uh, once at 16 p.m. That won't work. Let's put it to 817. My bad. Uh, sorry. So 817 and download again. I have it on X. Ex please execute this function. Never. That doesn't make sense. So it should be executed once uh, exactly then. And I will just change the time here a little bit, right? I will just change the time so we don't have to wait. Uh, 55. Pop, apply. So and now when this hits exactly right now, you see the timer turns true. It also has a true output, but you see on top, the timer is not running. Why is the timer not running? Because this function, the time of day function is only executed exactly once. That's the problem. So it sets the output, but it doesn't really time because for the timer to be evaluated, you need to evaluate it every cycle or every once in a while, whatever that exactly means. I'll get to timers later on. <clears throat> So this one that should be only set for 30 seconds is always true. That is very, very bad, right? Because it should be only for 30 seconds. It's already 35 seconds, it's still on. 
What, how can we avoid this? How can we avoid this? This is exactly one of the reasons why we have the so-called, uh, where do we have it? The time delay interrupts. The time delay interrupt is also a function. I will add it to my program. But this is a function I can tell the operating system, hey, can you please execute this function in 30 seconds? So instead of this, I will simply have the data here. I want to set this now. I want to activate it and I want to deactivate it in 30 seconds in the time delay interrupt. Right here, I want to reset this, which is this one here. Right. So the time of day will be executed. Then the time delay interrupt will be executed 30 seconds afterwards. So the only thing I need to do is in the time of day, of course, I will need to call this function, which I can find in interrupts. I have the uh, start delay interrupt. I will also put it here, right? And I just need to parameterize it. OB20, the delay time should could be anything now. Not 30 milliseconds, but 30 seconds. Um, how you do this and everything, I explained in another video. If you don't know it, check out my channel, as always. Uh, sign is word, uh, return value is word, and here we go. So what happens now is the time of day is executed at the specific time that is given here, which will be 8.20 which is for me in two minutes. Um, this function is executed, the bit is set or the thing is happening, whatever you wanna put there. And also we're telling the operating system, hey, please start the delay interrupt and execute it in 30 seconds. The delay interrupt is exactly this one here, which will be executed thir exactly 30 seconds uh, after, because I said it like that. I now need to download because my PLC is almost at the correct time already. So my PLC is um, time of day interrupt. We want to see, I will go in online in my time of day interrupt here and we can see the current time is uh, 8.20. When should, when was this? When did I want this to be executed? 8.20, so I was too slow actually. So let's see, I will set this again to 8.20. 19 and maybe 50 so we can see it so now this this will be set the variable will be set right at in exactly now should be set did i do i have this on never as i had it before no 9 25 oh yeah that's okay 8 20 pm that is correct why is it not executed Was it executed? Sorry, uh, it could be that I have the timings here wrong. Uh, ba -ba Let's say this should be 8.30 and then I manually set it to that. Did I download when I made the last change? I do not know. Here we go. It should be, I'm just really fixing around here with the timings and so manually. So that should not always happen, right? 8.29.44. So let's see, in 15 seconds, all of this should turn green. Am I in the time of day? Yes, I'm in the time of day. Interrupt, uh, seven or five more seconds, everything should turn green. It should be executed, the variable should be set. The delay interrupt should start, now it worked. Um, and after 30 seconds, right now the operating system is, is waiting, waiting, waiting. After 30 seconds, so exactly when this is 30, the variable will be reset. So right now the variable is actually true, right? Here we have it, it's true, and it will be false in exactly 12 seconds. Uh, so we build ourselves a timer now that starts at a specific time of a day. You can make that every day. Check out the video on time of day interrupts um, and will be reset at a certain time afterwards. So a very, very flexible and easy timer actually. Uh, one that I actually uh, like very much actually. <laughs> um, good. As I do not have too much time, uh, that's already it for today's video. Um, I hope you liked it. This is a very standard trick. So try to remember it. A lot of people use it.
If you liked it, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm sorry that I'm a little bit in a hurry here. Uh, that's how it is sometimes. <laughs> Still, thank you for watching and I will see you uh, in the next video. Bye.